In this problem, we're asked to find the weight of an astronaut at different points in space, on Earth, the Moon, Mars, and just some point in outer space. So to solve this problem, we'll just have to use the Newton's second law equation, which also serves as the weight equation, which states that the weight, or alternatively the net force, is equal to an object's mass times its acceleration. So the weight on Earth, for example, is going to be equal to the astronaut's mass times g, the acceleration due to gravity that it feels on Earth, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So for part A of the problem, we just take the mass, which is given to us as 68 kilograms, and multiply it by 9.8 meters per second squared. So if we put that into our calculator, we get a weight of about 670 newtons. So that is the weight in part A. And we'll just repeat this process for the next few parts. So the weight on the moon is going to be the same mg formula, except for g, we're going to use the g value the problem gives us, the 1.7 meters per second squared, since that's what g on the moon is. So we put that into our calculator, and then we find a weight of 120 newtons. Again, a similar process is going to be used for part C, where we're using the weight on Mars, except we're going to use the g value the problem gives us for Mars, 3.7 meters per second squared. And putting that into your calculator, we get about 250 newtons. And lastly, for part D, we're asked about the astronaut just being in space and experiencing a constant velocity. Now what that means, constant velocity, that means that the astronaut there is Now what that means about constant velocity, what that means is that there, the astronaut isn't feeling any kind of net acceleration. Because if he was, then there would be no constant velocity. It could not be constant if there was an acceleration. So what that means is that in space, the acceleration is zero. So m times the gravity in space is just going to be a zero, the, the, net, or the net acceleration that he feels at that point in time, which means that the net force or the net weight being felt by the astronaut there is zero newtons. So that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have a question about this, something you didn't understand, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you'd just like to hang out, I have a Twitch page and a Discord server linked down below. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.